Don't get used to meeting like this. It's a rarity. I'm not fond of the face-to-face -to -face either. Too much work. All right? Then we're on the same page. I'll get to the point. Why are you helping me? I can recognize an opportunity when I see it. And there just aren't too many opportunities presenting themselves these days. Figured if you see this angle through to its conclusion, you might be better off in the long run. Regardless. Seems like we can help each other. I'll point you to tower caches with useful supplies, and you get me the intel they contain. Sound like a deal? You've got yourself a deal. Take this drawing. There's some intel at the location in the drawing. When you have it, leave it for me at the usual spot. Consider it done. You there? Casey, 
Come in. Yeah, yeah, I I'm here. Wow, <laughs> you're back. Did you get it? You're surprised? You didn't think I was going to come through, did you? Well, guess what? I did. I didn't know. It's insane out there. All kinds of shit could have gone wrong. But, hey, this is great. Finally, some progress. It's a relief. Okay, uh, let me find the manual for that thing, and we can get it calibrated. Spill what you know about the reserve right now, or I may have to misplace this contraption. Uh, okay, jeez, you're right. I owe you. No need for threats. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you what I know. The reserve is real, but you already knew that, right? What you don't know is that I am in it. It's an old military bunker built in the 50s or 60s. Right after the flood, the National Guard used it as a staging area to distribute disaster relief supplies. But once the dead started walking and things really went to shit, I had no choice but to get inside and hunker down. I thought I was safe for a little while, but now I'm fucked. The flood water up top was too much for the reserve's pump system. It, it malfunctioned, and now the whole place is on lockdown. I'm stuck in the comm room. I I'm running out of time. I need to get out of here. Soon. God, I can't wait to see the sky again. I've been working with someone named May. She claims to have a key to the reserve. Know anything about this? If your May is May Benoit, then yeah, yeah, I've heard of her. Tower is always tossing her name around on the airwaves. They're really after her ass. Consider her a major threat. I don't know anything about a key to the reserve, though. I'll do some research. If I discover anything, I I'll let you know. Rumors are all over the place. What exactly is inside the reserve? Most of the rumors are true. Food, meds, tons of it. I mean, the entire hall was meant to help tens of thousands of people in the area after the flood. And there's a bunch of guns, ammo, and gear for the troops that were meant to distribute it. All military-grade, perfect condition. Problem is, I can't get to any of it. The whole bunker is locked down because of the floodwaters. You were the only one to make it inside? Well, no. There were others, but they didn't stay. Um, they had to leave. If the bunker was safe, why did they leave? Like I said, they left. They had to take care of something, okay? Nothing else to say about it. What's the rush to get out of there? Starvation, for one. I might have a couple weeks left of scraps down here. But none of that is gonna matter if the floodwater sitting on top of this place breaks through. The comm room is filling up slowly right now, but it's only a matter of time before the ceiling collapses. Starvation, crushed or drowned. Pick your poison, right? Drowning sounds like a nightmare. Yeah, well, well with your help, I'm hoping to avoid all of it. Fuck, I'd rather take my chances on the surface with a hundred walkers coming at me. At least I'd have a fighting chance. Look, tourist! I'm not asking you to do this out of the kindness of your heart. I mean, there's clearly something in it for you, big time. If the pumps get repaired, not only will I get out, but the supply rooms will all open up. All those disaster relief supplies, untouched. Not to mention enough weaponry and gear to arm multiple platoons. All for you to do with as you please. And for me, a fresh start and some fresh fucking air. You haven't been up front with me so far. Why should I trust you? Because my life is in your hands. I can't get out of this hole without your help. And look, hey, I get it. I could totally be full of shit. But one thing I know, no one else can offer you what I can. Without me, the reserve is gonna remain buried. Forever. If you want the reserve, you're gonna have to work with me. It's a chance you have to take. I'm willing to take the risk. Oh, fantastic. You won't regret it. Well, it. It's been a long night, but I'm too wired to sleep. I'm gonna turn this place upside down until I find the manual. You should get some rest, though. I'll contact you in the morning. Good night, tourist.
Are you there? Yeah. Glad to hear your voice. Ready to get started? Ready as I'll ever be. Okay, good. So, I found the manual for the pump flow regulator. It looks like we need to calibrate it before it can be installed. Each of the pumps has different flow requirements, and that component tells the rest of the system where to route the water. We should be able to figure this out. I like that attitude. Okay. On the device, you should see a serial number. Read it to me. Four seven three zero five eight nine dash zero one. Okay. Uh, now, turn the dial until you get some feedback on valve A. Uh, uh, then tell me the number you see. Feedback triggered on 55. The numbers turn green. Okay, good. 55. Uh, according to the manual, valve B should be tuned to 28 degrees. Valve B to 28. Got it. Perfect. Okay, uh, last valve. One second, one second. There we go. Valve C should be set to 67. Valve C set. All numbers green. Awesome. Okay, uh, almost there. Now it says, depress the automatic confirmation mechanism. Uh, looking at the diagram here, it's a big round button. Should be obvious. All right. Big round button pressed. Yes! Okay, we're calibrated. Now you need to install this sucker into the pump. Uh, the pump, it's, uh, it's located outside of St. Vincent's Church. Beacon lights will be on to help find it, so that's good. Of course, uh, it'll probably attract walkers, so that sucks. Just be ready. The systems down here will let me know when you've installed the regulator. Oh, and uh, one more thing. A little tip that should make life a bit easier and scavenging more fruitful since, you know, we're colleagues now. <laughs> right? The tower has a radio station, number 47 that broadcasts any significant discoveries in the city and the current schedule for stirring the herd. Might be wise to tune in before heading out for the day. Privileged intel, so, you know, let's, uh, let's keep it between us. All right, gonna take a few moments to clear my head. I'll contact you when it's time for the next step. Good luck, and thanks. Me medical cash confirmed. The Shallows. Food cash spotted. The ward.
Hey, Casey, you there? Yeah, always here. Always thinking. My mind is always swirling with something these days. Doesn't make sense to get all worked up, steady your mind. Yeah, well, I guess. But hey, this morning I realized something. Wild, at least that much. Never been. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Like another planet. My mom used to drive the night sky. It was so bright. Crystal clear view of the cosmos. That put a lot of things in perspective for me about how insignificant we really are in the grand scheme of things. How my troubles, no matter how big they may seem, really don't mean squat. I mean, well, what? You know, the first thing I think I've had an. One thing the universe knows is infinite chaos. What it's always been best at. The dead walking is all the proof you need. Yeah. I suppose you're right. You sound like my uncle. Sounding like your uncle is a good thing? Yeah, it is. I miss the guy. I still carry the note he wrote me when I finally graduated high school. In my pocket. Three short sentences on a folded up index card. Thanks for listening, tourist. I feel better. See if I can picture that bad line steady the mind, as you say. <laughs>